What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Sunday evening. Uh, just getting back home and um, did a little bit of shopping. Bought a couple shirts. Uh, just got to, you know, keep the wardrobe updated every once in a while. But the reason why I'm making this video, and of course this is another one of my educational videos because... Uh, YouTube has been cracking down lately on some of my videos. In fact, I've just recently got a warning over the Big Lenny uh, tranny one. So uh, you guys are familiar with that one. So I'm going to put more educational stuff. That doesn't mean that I'm going to skip out on mints. I'm just going to do a couple of other uh, videos just to supplement things. You know what I mean? So... The reason why I'm making this video, and got myself a new pinky ring, by the way. Uh, the reason why I'm making this video is there's a lot of these channels up here talking about what type of colognes and what kind of scents that you should be getting. And I'll be listening to them. Always making up stuff saying you should get things uh, that's so expensive, you know what I mean? Uh, like two or three hundred dollar bottles. A cologne, $600 bottles of cologne, you know, $200 bottles of cologne, $100 bottle of colognes. And you see, if you fall for that, then you are wrong, wrong. The great one is here to show you how to not smell like a dirty hog, like hot garbage, like the backside of a donkey's behind. But I'm going to show you what to wear in order to save money and still impress the ladies or guys. So if you're wanting to get a little bit of trim, if you're trying to get a little bit of pie or strudel, then you need to stick around and listen to the great one. Just keep in the real time like it is. Now let's begin... Uh, as far as these expensive colognes are concerned, Creed Aventus and stuff like that and Lost Cherry. Well, first off, why in the world would you buy a cologne that's called Lost Cherry? You know what I mean? May end up getting your cherry loosened, you know, and stuff. So, but I digress that both of those colognes are in the three to four hundred dollar range. You know, if you're rich, and like I said, these are these are great smelling. They're awesome colognes. I'm not disrespecting them at all. But, you know, you would only wear that if you're making, you know, $100,000, $200,000 a year. You know what I mean? I'm not making that. I'm not making two or $300,000 a year. And probably neither are you if you are watching this channel. But that's all right. That's okay. All right. Now, I'm not going to go too much into colognes. A lot of these channels go into notes and stuff like that. Uh, middle notes and stuff. I'm just going to break it down to you quite simple here. OK. Now, even though those colognes are expensive, don't also go on the low end, neither. Avoid designer imposter colognes. OK. And here's the reason. Most of these bottles are like 10 or $15, but they have absolutely no obligation whatsoever to make you a quality product. Not only that, you know, it really doesn't cost that much more in order to get a high quality product by a major manufacturer that does have an obligation uh, to protect their brand by selling decent cologne, period. All right. So I'm going to start with how I determine as far as the what type of cologne I wear. Now, some people have ways of, you know, what they call seasonal colognes. You know, my whole thing is I don't go by seasons per se. I go by dark and light, you know, basically daytime and nighttime. That's how I determine what type of cologne that I'm going to wear. OK. Now, with that being said, uh. I'm going to go ahead and get started. If it's nighttime and I need to go and uh, 
you know, go out on the town. I'm going to wear myself a can of coal awareness. I'm going to go and wear some really dark clothes. You know, you've seen my outfit and my profile and everything like that. I'm going to need something uh, with a little kick to it, basically. You know what I mean? Something that's dark and musky or anything like that. The great one relies upon Hugo Boss. This is Hugo Man, not the original stuff. And you got to look for this here, okay? Now, this here is an older bottle of Hugo Boss. The newer bottles no longer have that, okay? Now, I'm not going to go too much into all these notes and everything, but it has vanilla, sandalwood, olive tree. You know, this is a very uh, dark fragrance, in my opinion, okay? It's got cinnamon and mahogany and stuff like that. It's, it's a masculine... Uh, cologne. Now, retails for $65. You know, if you go to uh, Perfumania in the mall, you can probably get it for $40. But uh, this is actually, you'll find this a lot also in places like TJ Maxx, and you could pick it up for about $24. So, Designer Imposter, $15. A legitimate bottle of Hugo Boss, $24. That's not too bad there, okay? That's good stuff. This here is a night is what I consider a nighttime cologne, okay? It's what you wear at nighttime. It's also when you want to be when you want to smell, you know, you want a masculine smell, you know what I mean? And that's why I like Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss came out in 1995. Uh, and it's just been rocking it since then, you know. Some people may disagree with me. This this cologne blows out anything in terms of masculine colognes, uh, with the exception of a product called Aramis. And, you know, you probably don't have the balls to so wear some Aramis, so stay away from that. So that is Hugo Boss. All right, guys, the next uh, cologne I'm going to discuss is my daytime cologne. You know, I want something that is, uh, that, wait a minute, hold on. Give me just a minute. Sorry about that. I had to go, uh, had a little, uh, call coming in there. So I'm going to get back to the video. So as far as daytime is concerned, you know, when I want something light and airy and, you know, you know, aquatic, and this here is, you know, aquatic colognes. Uh, one thing that I like the most is this here. This here is Nautica Blue, okay? This is what you want to wear if you're wearing uh, light color clothes. It's daytime, the sun is out. You're going to go take a nice walk in the park. Uh... You know, and you need something very refreshing here. You know, this has freaking pineapple, bergamot, peach, water lily, jasmine. It's just an aqu aquatic uh, cologne. Very refreshing. You know, this isn't a masculine uh, scent, but it's not a feminine scent there. It's just, uh, you know, so this is this is what I call a. a you know, if you're going to get on the yacht, you're going to go play some golf or something like that. This is more or less an ocean type there, uh, cologne. After all, it's called Nautica. And you want to wear this during the daytime. I mean, that's just my opinion. You can go by these other people's seasonal. I will wear this in the daytime uh, with my seersucker and, you know, lightly colored clothes here, you know. And, of course, naturally, uh, an aquatic uh, cologne is also good if you're going to go boating or anything like that. It'll cover up the smell of drinking on the boat because most people drink on a boat like certain people that we've already talked about. So I won't get back into that, but it's a uh, good aquatic cologne, okay? All right, guys, the final bottle I actually have is this one. And the reason why I have it in this generic bottle is because I actually broke the original bottle. 
This here is Tommy Bahama. This here is what I call a tropical scent there, you know. Uh, it has a little bit of musk in it. This here is my medium. When I can't, when it is not light, not cold, not nighttime or anything like that, and I just need something that is middle ground, you always have to have a middle ground cologne when either one of these, a aquatic or a dark scent doesn't work. Go with something like Tommy uh, Bahama. It has bergamot, geranium, nutmeg, uh, patchouli, and stuff like that. It's still light and freshening. It's This is a masculine scent. It's going to make you smell good, you know. And this is just for anything... Uh, you know, middle ground. I almost forgot uh, the price on Nautica is the best part. You could pick this up for like $16 at TJ Maxx. So it's going to be, this product here is the same price as, as a designer imposter. Tommy, Tommy Bahamas, you can get that around the same price as you can get uh, Hugo Boss. They're relatively priced the same, $65 retail, $40 at Perfume Mania, or if you go to a uh, go to the mall, you can sometimes find Tommy Bahama at a TJ Maxx. Uh, whenever you do, it's going to be $24 or $29 uh, for Tommy Bahama. And those are the colognes that I recommend that I actually use. Now, other colognes uh, that I like, uh, like I said, you can if you want something super masculine, uh, try Aramis. Aramis is probably something that your granddaddy probably uh, wore. You know, your father probably didn't have the balls to wear it. And as far as you are concerned, who knows? If you want to... If you want a really strong masculine, I mean, you know, something that actually has some kick to it, you know, something that has fucking balls to it, you know, get Aramis. Now, uh, what if you didn't have any cologne or anything like that? Uh, one thing uh, that you don't want to do is use things like body spray. If you're going to use a body spray, use something that is similar uh, to the cologne you have. So I have Nautica Blue Sail, you know, but the purpose of me using an aerosol is really whenever I work out in the gym, okay? That's the only time you, I feel that you really should use a, a body spray is if you're in the gym so that way you don't smell or anything like that uh, because that's going to be a lot stronger. It's going to last for a much shorter time, uh, but you know it it gives that it gets all the the gym sweat smell off of you. That's the only time you use body spray. Uh, I used Axe body spray whenever I was working at the detention center. It was hot. It was smelly. It was nasty. You know, uh, inmates had bo and everything like that, and that would you know that would participate. Uh, I'm not even gonna say the word, but it would get on my clothes. So I needed something like a body spray, and I would spray that every four or five hours here. I kid you not. Uh, but that's the only time you should really use body spray, in my opinion. Body spray is not fucking cologne, okay? Don't spray it on. But that's all I got to say today as far as cologne is concerned. No, this is a wishy-washy video or you know, and stuff like that. But like I said, I got to do more educational stuff because YouTube is got my balls in the salad shooter and stuff. So just going to try to whip this out here. Uh, we're going to discuss Nicolato Avocado probably the Monday or Tuesday. Uh, Greg Doucette has already been saying, you know, making videos. You know, the great one has to step in and uh, get up on that. You know what I'm saying? Just keeping it real and time like it is. Uh, once again, new pinky ring. Hope you guys like it. You won't see this too often because it is a big fat one there, you know.
But, you know, just for the videos, I am going to show it off. I mean, look how thick this is. But, all right, people, take care.